Hi, this is Vanetta Johnson. I am here with a DIY project on how to use an ordinary coffee can and make it into a planter. I'm going to take this here coffee can and we're going to take this here plant and I'm going to show you step by step this little project I have here. So stick around to the end of my video to see what what it ends up looking like. Looking like this is going to be a lot of fun. This video is about taking an ordinary coffee can and making it into a, a planter. And we are going to decorate it with artwork that you create yourself. Or if you have children, you can have your children participate. It's a great, a definitely a fun way to keep some of your children's artwork. Or create, you know, create your own artwork. Keep your own artwork. <laughs> Either way. So let's get started. And I will take you through the process. Okay. This is my coffee can we're using for a project. And I'm just going to use an X-Acto knife, or you could cut it off with scissors and take off the paper. Doesn't matter what kind of coffee it is. You just want the can. Okay. There we go. Getting off the paper. That was our first, just the empty coffee can. This one is, let's see what size this is. This one is a one pound can that we're gonna use for a project. And I am gonna show you how to use this. We're gonna decorate the outside and I'm going to put a plant in there. And it's gonna be really cute when we get done. Okay, now I'm taking a sheet of white paper just a normal size sheet. And we'll put it up against the can. And I'm going to mark where the line is where we need to cut it. I'm going to use another sheet of paper and just draw that line straight across. Draw the line straight across. Okay, I didn't get that exactly even, but close enough. It's, it's pretty close. And then I'll take a pair of scissors. And I'll cut the paper. Okay. We'll take two sheets like this to cover our can. One for each side. But first we're going to decorate it. And we'll take two of them. And we are going to end up taping them together. We're going to tape these two papers together or glue them, whichever. So that they will match up on the other side. And then we'll put it around here. But first we're going to decorate it with some artwork. So I will work on showing you how we do that. Okay, this is my blank piece of paper to get creative with. I'm going to write and use colored markers and possibly Crayolas. I have a box of 96 colors. And we're just going to see what we can create here.
If you have children, this is a fun project to do with them. Okay, now in this step, we are going to take Mod Podge and an applicator and we are going to put it on our artwork to seal it. And it's going to give it a nice shiny finish too. Just nice even strokes across the paper. Once we do this, we're going to leave it for 20 minutes and let it dry. It says we could apply another, um, another layer, but I'm probably just going to do one layer for this project. We're just going to give it a nice shiny finish. And I might go ahead and try putting it on the back once it's dried too, so that side has some too. Okay, and now with the first one, we'll set that aside. We'll take our other one. And we'll do the same to it. Yes, I have the paper under this in case I'm messy with this stuff so it doesn't get all over my table. Okay, the other one worked smoothly. This one's kind of fighting with me here. The other one I just smoothed it across easily and effortlessly, and this one wants to be a little more of a challenge, but I'll just try to get it on there smoothly. Alright, Jelly, you just go over once. All right, there you have it. And then we're going to let it dry for about 20 minutes, maybe longer. So it'll be nice and dry. I misspelled abundance. That's supposed to be an A, not a U. <laughs> yes, 
color Crayola color crayons a 96 pack so you don't need 96 colors to do our work though or some just regular sharpies in different colors that's what I'm using for my project today this is the plant we're going to be working with when we get done it is going to be replanted in this can here which is going to be cutely decorated with some paper that we've done some work work on and I'm going to go step by step and show you how this is done. I'm going to use. Now my next step is going to be turning this over. And I decided not to put the Mod Podge on the other side. So we're just going to take a glue stick. And I'm going to put glue all the way across here. Applying it to the can. Okay. It's applied to the can. Take the other one. Oh, I might have to go along the side here a little bit more. I want it to stick perfectly. So I'm going to take and use the glue stick again and put it on the other one, second one. Put a nice layer of glue all over that. doing the world's greatest job here. Got to get this done quickly so that the glue doesn't dry while I'm trying to get to the other side. One. Oops, I forgot it overlaps. Okay. This isn't working perfectly. Oh. Oops. About getting it put it in the right spot. I forgot the can overlaps, but I needed to cut this down half an inch. Okay, you two can do what I'm doing. I did it wrong. It's pretty, pretty. Ah, darn it. I didn't measure right. But I think I can cut off a little on this one side.
Mm -hmm. yeah, we're still going to be a little overlapping. But... Yeah, getting it placed right is the hard part. Yeah, especially once you get that glue on there. I'm going to reinforce with tape since I kind of, the glue is only going to hold so much. Oops. Ah. It's best to use a clear tape. It won't show too much. Glue sticker, it'll get all nasty. Uh, okay, so I didn't measure correctly. Make sure you measure your before you do your artwork. That's a smart idea. <laughs> oh well, it's still gonna look cute no matter what. Anyway, so there we have our can. It's all ready now for the next step. Okay, our can is all decorated. It's all cute. All cute. Look at that genius. Okay, now it's ready for the potting soil. All right, now for the next step in our project. Filling our can with potting soil. Some soil in there. We're going to take this plant. Oh, oh, let's decorate that. And you'll see it comes in this little thing here. Okay. I'm just going to pull it out of there. Here's my little paint says what kind of plant I have. And we're going to add some more soil around it now that we got it in there. Okay, that's going to be the tricky part. Maybe soil up around it. Roots. I don't want to make our plants sad. Oops. Not on the plants. Okay, I'm going to put a little water in this. Help us along here. The soil is really dry. Let's see what we have in there. Get it nice and at home in there. Oops. Getting it all over. That could happen. Anyway, you just want to make sure it's nice. Okay, I am adding water to what we're doing. The potting soil is very dry. Getting it nicely in there. All right, if you're like me, you may have made a mess doing this. <laughs> you just go ahead and clean that up. Okay. 
Okay. And look at our finished product. Isn't this beautiful? That's our project right there. Isn't that awesome? Show you all our cute artwork here. So go around the can. Isn't that fun? We have this fun, cute little can now. So there you have it, the finished product. Okay, there it is in its new home. It's beautiful. Here are the items I used in this video. Sharpies, color Crayola, a glue stick, Mod Podge, a scotch tape, scissors, a white sheet of paper, a can that we already decorated. I hope you enjoyed my presentation on how to take an ordinary coffee can and make it into a planter. And I've made a list below for you in case you missed in the video what all I used. And I hope you'll comment below and let me know if you liked my video and if this looks like a project you might try yourself. Um, also, if you found value in my video, please share it with your friends so they can enjoy it too. And um, if you don't want to miss out on my future projects, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification so you don't miss a thing. You have a great day now.